Praise the Lord. God is good. God is good all the time. God is good. Welcome, welcome, welcome tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to day six of divine intervention. I pray today that God will bless you as you tune in. Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your protection. Thank you, Lord, for your deliverance. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. We magnify you, Lord Jesus. Good evening, Cassandra. How you are there being? Welcome to the new year. May God give you double portion of blessing in Jesus' name. Good evening, Naomi. God bless you and thank you for tuning in. Hallelujah. May you be blessed as you tune in. Hallelujah. Sister Presence, good evening. Thank you for tuning in. May God bless you. May God bless you. Amen. Every one of you, God bless you. Please share so that many will come on the platform. Hallelujah. Do well to press the share button and share so that other people can be blessed. We thank God for his goodness. We thank God for his mercy. We thank God for his protection. In the name of Jesus, Sister Priscilla, good evening to you. God bless you. Brother Bernard, good evening. God bless you in Jesus' name. It is my prayer tonight that God will use this platform to bless you and give you the desire of your heart. Whatever every one of you is seeking for, may God grant it in the name of Jesus Christ. May your prayer be heard tonight and then may the living God hear you and answer you in the name of Jesus. Today, as I said to you, we have only one hour. So right now, let's lift our voices and let's thank God for the gift of life. Let's thank him for his protection. Let's thank him for his goodness. Let's thank him for his mercy. In the name of Jesus, Sister Janet and Ponte, good evening to you and your family. May God bless you and increase you more and more in Jesus' name. Let every one of us lift up your voice and let's bless the name of our Lord. Father, we bless you. Sister Victoria, good evening to you and welcome on board. May God bless you and your family tonight in Jesus' name. Let us lift our voice, thank him and bless him and let's worship him. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift our voices and we thank you. We bless you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you that you are a good God. We thank you that you are merciful, God. We thank you that you are gracious, God. There is no other God but you. You are the ancient of days. You are Alpha, you are Omega. Omnipotent and omnipresent God. Father, we come in the name of your son, Jesus. We come to bless you. We come to honor you. We come to magnify you. We come in to worship you, Lord. And as we come, we pray in Jesus' name that, Lord, you will hear us and you will answer us. 
in the name of Jesus. As we have come tonight, may your holy name be praised. May your holy name be glorified. You are mighty God. You are merciful God. You are glorious God. You are the ancient of days. You are the beginning and you are the end. We give you worship. We give you worship. We give you worship. We give you worship. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we magnify you. We exalt you. You are God of Abraham. You are God of Isaac. You are God of Israel. We give you worship, Lord. We give you worship, Lord. Parabot Santaya. Lebroski Laba. Lebakaturia. Maso Tokataya. Good evening, Sister Hetty. Good evening, Sister Charles. Good evening, Sister Kate. God bless you. Koraba Sante Ababa, Yendere Baba Santoria. Now we give you worship. Now we magnify. Now we exalt you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Generations, Lord, will come and generation will serve you. And generation will magnify you. And generation will talk about your goodness and your mercy. As we are here tonight, glorifying your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Parabo Santa. Let everyone praise him. Let everyone magnify him. He is our God. Yes. There is no other God but Him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Koraba Santaya. Yetatoria Baba. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Now lift up your voice. Ask God to forgive you every sin, whatever sin that can block your prayer. May God forgive you through the blood of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Father, we pray right now. Let the blood of Jesus wash us and let the blood of Jesus cleanse us. Let the blood of Jesus wash every sin away. For your word says, if you confess our sin, you are just, you are righteous to forgive us. We confess our sins and we ask for forgiveness. Through the blood, through the blood of Jesus Christ. And tonight, Lord, we come to your throne of mercy. By the reason of the finished work of Christ Jesus. By the finished work of Christ, we have access to your throne. We ask you to hear us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now I want you to pray, and I want you to ask the Lord to empower you by the Holy Spirit. Father, we pray right now in the name of the Lord. We ask for empowerment. We ask that you will strengthen us. We ask that you will empower us by your spirit, by the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Pray for the empowerment of the Spirit of God. As the Holy Spirit to strengthen you, as the Holy Spirit to empower you, in Jesus' name. Spirit of God, Le Karaba Zantoria. Makato Mama Tego good evening to you. Le Batoria Bagadaya. Sharaba Sharaba Basharaba. Oh yes, Lord, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your power. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost continue, continue to flow. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I give you praise, I give you praise, I give you praise. Karabo Shantayaba. Lekaraba Santoya. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Amen and amen. Good evening, good evening, every one of you. Good evening to you. And welcome to prayer. In the name of Jesus, we are in day six of divine intervention. And I, I don't want us to break. That's why I came on tonight. Now, please do me a favor. Before I start, if you can share the message, I will be very grateful. By you sharing, hallelujah, it means we are not limiting the prayer to only Christian hope but the prayer I stand to your friends. Hallelujah. So please do well to share. Hallelujah. Share so that other people can also be blessed. Praise God. It's very important that you and I share. So please do so. Share right now so that other people too can be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Please press the share button and share, and share, and share, and share, and share, and share. Praise Jesus. Let me see that you have share. In the name of the Lord. Karabo Shantaya Baba. Ni Karababa Santoria. Karabo Sente Kataya. Lebros Kaya Bakaturia. Makaturia Baba. I'm sharing mine, so please. Make sure you share yours as well. Amen and amen. Do so, so that many, many, many people can also take part in the prayer meeting. Amen. Now, if you have done so, then turn your Bible to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2. 1 Samuel chapter number 2. I just want to give you a word of exhortation and then we will quickly go into prayer. Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter number two. And I, I want to read verse nine. Hallelujah. This, these are words of Hannah. And uh, he said in verse nine, here he's speaking about God. He's talking about uh, God's goodness. And then he said, he will guide the feet of his saints. But the wicked shall be silent in darkness. I pray that the wicked shall be silent in darkness. And then Hannah said, for by strength, no man shall prevail. By strength, no man shall prevail. Now, as you know, we are talking about divine intervention. Hallelujah. We are talking about divine intervention. Praise Jesus. And Mary said that by strength, no one will prevail. By strength, no one shall prevail. Whatever you are, say with me, by strength, no one shall prevail. In other words, by human ability alone, you are going nowhere by human ability now. Here, yeah, you know, Hannah was talking from experience. Hallelujah. There is always a saying that experience is the best teacher. Praise God. And I believe that experience is the best teacher. Hannah had been praying for the child all along. Hallelujah. All her married life. We know from the Bible that when Hannah was married, Hannah's husband had two hus uh, wives. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the other one, you know, was giving birth. And Hannah was the, the, the one that was lacking. And sometimes you can imagine the situation. Hallelujah. And so by the reason that the, the, the other, you know, woman 
was kind of a teasing her, was mocking her, hallelujah, was saying so many funny things. He compelled, you know, Hannah, hallelujah, to do more, to do more, to do more, so that she too can have a baby. But then no matter what Hannah was doing, nothing was coming forth. She was using her own strength, her own ability, thinking that by that will help her to conceive. Hallelujah. Then nothing was coming forth. Praise God. And so she kept on seeking God. She kept on seeking God. Praise God. And thank God that in the course of her seeking God, God answered her. This year, let it be, hallelujah, one of the things that you will do, that you will continuously seek God. Hallelujah, praise God. And when you seek him, the Bible says that when we seek him, he will find us. Praise God. Hallelujah. When you, you and I seek God, we will find him. So when Hannah kept on seeking, Hannah kept on seeking, eventually, God came in for her. Did you hear me? May God come in for you in Jesus' name. And when God came in for her and God answered her and God gave Hannah a baby boy, Hannah then realized that I have learned something about life. I have learned that life is not about we as human beings, how hard we work. It's good to work. Did you hear me? Because God is the one that created us and said we should work. But then success is not just by your ability alone. It is by the God that is behind you. Hallelujah. So Hannah said, I know that by strength alone, hallelujah, no man will prevail. And that is why you and I need divine intervention. We need divine intervention this year so that our life will be successful. You see, life is like a journey. It is like anybody that is traveling. When you are traveling, praise God, you make sure you are going by car, you make sure that there's enough fuel in the car, you make sure, hallelujah, that the car is road worthy, you make sure everything is fine. Praise God. Hoping that you reach the other end. But as you reach the other end, sometimes it's not up to you. Did you hear me? Praise God. As you reach the other end, sometimes it's not up to you. It is by divine uh, intervention that helps you to reach the other end. Because so many things can happen along the way. Sometimes somebody can come in and hit your car. Sometimes along the line, you can have a, a best tie. Sometimes, you know, the engine can overheat along the journey. So, so many things can happen. Did you hear? Sometimes people can even trick you on the road. You will stop and then it may be armed robbers. And before you realize, they have robbed you. So, a journey is like that. But I, that is why we need divine intervention in our life so that the journey of 2022 will be smooth, will be well, and we can reach 2023 in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Apostle Alan, good evening and welcome on board. We appreciate you are on. May God bless you. Thank you for coming on in the name of Jesus. Now, as you and I read the book of Ezra, Ezra chapter 8, you will find out that uh, when the children of Israel were in Babylon and then during the reign of Dallas, the king, a decree was signed that all of them can go back to Israel because God said they will be there 70 years. And one day, 70 years, the prophecy came into fulfillment and 
the door was open for them to go back. Now, when the door was open for them to go back, they realized that going from Babylon to Jerusalem is a distance. There can be so many things along the way. There can be armed robbers. There can be ambushmen. There can be so many things. So they gathered, they fasted, and then they set forth. Hallelujah. And I like, I just want to read Ezra chapter 8. When you read verse uh, 31, the Bible says that then we departed from the river Hava on the 12th day of the first month to go to Jerusalem. Thank God we are in the first month. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord God was upon us. And he delivered us from the hand of the enemy and from ambush along the road. Hallelujah. So, verse 32, so we came to Jerusalem and stayed there three days. In other words, God gave them a safe passage. Did you hear me? How they, were, they were on a journey, but they prayed to God. And when they prayed to God, the hand of God came on them. Hallelujah. And when the hand of God came on them, God delivered them from the enemy on the road. May you be delivered, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, from every enemy on the road of the journey of 2022. If you tap amen, that is your portion in the name of Jesus. May God deliver you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. May anyone that tap amen, may you receive that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. May you and your family be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you be delivered from the hand of witches as a tap amen to receive it. May you be delivered from the hand of evil people. May you be delivered in the name of Jesus from the hands of ambushment in Jesus' name. May you be delivered from every snare of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be delivered from every, you know, traps and that the enemy may set along the way of 2022. And may you are now rich. Hallelujah. Praise God. The 31st night, peacefully and safely ready to enter into 2023 in the name of Jesus. And so God delivered them, hallelujah, and their family, and they arrived at Jerusalem peacefully. Praise God. And all the silver and the gold that they were carrying, hallelujah, they were able to take it along. I pray today in the name of Jesus, that whatever blessing that you are carrying, whatever you have, whatever God has given you will be intact. Not only will it be intact, but more will be added in Jesus' name because 2022 is a year of double, double, double blessing. So by the end of 2022, may you have double of what you have right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, those who tap Amen receive that in the name of Jesus. It is my prayer that as we come to the end, hallelujah, of 2022, you will have double of everything that you, God has given to you in Jesus' name. Double blessing, double blessing, double blessing in the name of Jesus. And so divine intervention that is what we are praying for this year. And we pray that God will intervene in every area of our life. He will intervene in our marriages and make our marriage better. He will intervene in our health and make our health better. He will intervene in our finances and make our finances great. He will intervene in our ministries and make our ministries mighty. You will intervene in every area of our lives in the name of Jesus. See, 
Mary was right. Hallelujah. Hannah was right. When Hannah said, by strength, no one will prevail. And that is true. There are so many things that by strength, you cannot, <laughs> your strength alone will not help you to achieve any success in life. We need God. The other day, you know, I was meditating on a scripture and it dawned on me, my mind was caught and then I look at this, I look at either sea or river that there are, there are, you know, fish and all kinds of fish in, in, in rivers and in sea. And that is where God created them to be. Moment you take a fish out of water eh, and they come on dry land, if you keep them there for uh, maybe 10 minutes or so, they will die. Why? Because they, were, they are meant to be in water. That is here. And suddenly the Holy Spirit began to minister to me. The man was created to be in fellowship with God. Man was created, hallelujah, to work alongside with God. And so when we distance ourselves from God, there is no way we can survive. And so as we are beginning the year, we need God in our lives more than before. Hallelujah. We need God to protect us. We need God to deliver us. We need God to bless us. We need God to heal us. We need God, hallelujah, praise God, to comfort us. We need God in every area of our lives. So we are going to pray right now, hallelujah, praying that this year, may God be with us and may God continue to intervene in every area of our lives in the name of Jesus so that by the end of it all we too can say hallelujah that by strength no one will prevail did you hear lift up your voice wherever you are I said to you we are going to pray for only one hour so lift up your voice and begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ that May God touch your life in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. May God touch you. May God touch you. May God touch you. And as God touch you, may he intervene in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Father, we are praying in Jesus' name for divine intervention. We want you, my God, yeah, to intervene in every area of our lives in jesus name for we have seen that without you in the journey of 2022 will not be fruitful without you we cannot make the journey of 2022 so right now we pray in the name of jesus may you therefore my god intervene in our lives Makatoria Baba, intervene in our marriages, intervene in our health, in the name of Jesus, intervene in our ministry, intervene in our finances, intervene in our health, and make it better in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice, invite God into your life. May the living God. May the living God intervene for you in Jesus' name. Koraba Santoria, Lebedea Badaya, Rebedea Magadaya, Yekataya Mazanto, Likaraba Bazanto, Likaraba Bazanto. Lift up your voice, continue to pray the Father in Jesus' name. In this journey of 2022, I have seen that by my own ability, by my own ability, I cannot make it. Lebedea, we cannot do it without you. Therefore, my God, we invite you into our lives. In the name of Jesus, we invite you into our churches. We invite you into our marriages. We invite you into our finances. We invite you into the life of our children. In the name of Jesus, Lebedea Badaya, by our own strength, 
by our own strength, we cannot prevail in the name of Jesus. So, Father, as we pray, we invite you, Lord. Lebede bede bede, Santori Ababa, Lebede Abadaya, take control, Lord in every area of our lives. Take control, Lord, in every area. Now, let me hear you pray. Lebedebea, Makatori Ababa, Shantori Ababa, Yentere Baba, Makaturia, Yentere Baba, in this journey, in this journey of 2022. Lebedea, we know that without you, Lebedea, we cannot prevail without you, Lord. We will not succeed. Therefore, we ask for your divine intervention in Jesus' name. Karabo Santoria, Lipa Baba, Lebedea, Zutaya Baba, Zutaya Babaza, Karabo Sikayaba, Yentere Baba, Likarababa Zantoria, Makatoria, Makatoria in Jesus' mighty name. Now, as we read the book of Ezra, Ezra chapter 8, verse 31, the Bible says that the hand of the Lord came on them and God delivered them, hallelujah, from ambushes, hallelujah, and from the enemy along the way. So that means there are enemies out there. <laughs> there are enemies out there. Did you hear me? Praise God. But God delivered them from the, the, the ambushment. You are praying that in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, the power of God will be against all those who have set ambushes against you in this 2022. Now, believe you me, the witches and the wizards, they have already gathered and they have already set their plans in motion. Hallelujah. So you are praying that may God deliver you from the hands of the enemy and from ambushes that the enemy have laid along the journey of 2022. Say with me, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, as I pray this evening, I, I pray that you will deliver me from the hands of the enemy and you will deliver me from the ambushment along the journey of 2022 in the name of jesus please lift up your voice and begin to pray in the name of jesus in this 30 minutes that we are praying you pray that god will touch your life and god will deliver you in jesus name from the hand of the enemy and from the hand of ambushes Along the road in Jesus' name. Lebede bede 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 Ramagatoria Baba, Yentere Ramagataya, Santoria Baba. Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray in Jesus' name that along the journey, that along the journey of 2022, you God, you will deliver us from every enemy in the name of Jesus, and you will deliver us from ambushment along the journey of 2022 in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice, Makatoria, Lebedea, Shantoria. God should make sure that the will of the enemy against you will not come to pass in the name of Jesus. Father, as I pray, in Jesus' name, touch my life, touch my life, that the will of the enemy against me, in Jesus' name, will not come to pass. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 9, that the lamp of the wicked would not shine. The lamp of the wicked would not shine. So you are praying in the name of Jesus that the lamp of the wicked will not shine. In other words, their plans against you will not come to pass. In the name of Jesus, Lebataya, Shantoria, my God, my Father, in Jesus' name, as I pray, Lebedebedebede, Makatea, Shantoria, Makaturia, I pray for safe passage 
Lord, I pray for safe passage in 2022. Every plan of the enemy against me will not come to pass. Every plan of the enemy will not come to pass. Carabo Santoria, Ricarababa, Santoria Baba, Yetete, Yetete, Nanturia, Caraba Santo, Lebete, Bete, 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 Santoria, Macaturia, Metete Cataya, in Jesus' name. Now, always, sometimes we talk about enemy, we talk about enemy, and some people sometimes. Uh, they don't understand. Today I saw something that baffled me. As we read the Bible in the book of First Kings, chapter twenty-one, First Kings chapter twenty-one, and when you read verse twenty-five, the Bible says that but there was no one like Ahab, who sold himself to do wickedness in the sight of the Lord because Jezebel, his wife, stirred him up. Now, a king himself, oh, a king himself sold himself to the devil. Did you hear? He sold himself, in other words, to do the bidding of the devil. Did you hear? A king, oh, a king, not an ordinary person. Hallelujah. By the manipulation of the wife, the king sold himself to, to, to do the bidding of the devil. That is why when you, when you read the Bible, you see that Ahab, you know, uh, erected altars for bars and so much. In other words, he was working for the devil. And sometimes there are people like that. They have sold themselves and they work for the devil. So you are praying. In this 2022, anyone uh, that have sold himself to the devil, uh, so that through him or her, the devil will get to you. Uh, you are eliminating them before they eliminate you. Because there are some people like that, they, they have sold themselves to the devil so that the devil can use them. If you don't know, this is here, it is in the Bible. And I believe the Bible more than you. The Bible says that Ahab sold himself, <laughs> praise God, to, uh, to do wickedness. In other words, to allow the devil to use him. So you are praying, anyone that has sold himself to allow the devil to use him or her against you, may the consuming fire of God consume them in the name of Jesus. Because there are people like that. Hallelujah. God, without human being, the Holy Spirit cannot flow through us to touch others. Did you hear me? Hallelujah. And so likewise, on the negative, the devil also has to flow through humans in order to affect somebody. So that is how it is. So you are praying in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are praying right now as I'm here. It is the Spirit of God flowing through me to touch you. There are some people too on the negative. They allow demon spirit to flow through them. Did you hear? So you are praying. Say with me, Father God, in the name of Jesus, anyone on planet Earth who has sold himself or herself to the devil, to allow the devil to use against me and my loved ones. As I pray now, let the fire of God, let the fire of God strike them wherever they are in the name of Jesus. Anyone that has sold himself or herself to allow the devil to use against me in 2022. I pray to terminate them. I pray to terminate them by fire, by thunder. I strike them in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus in this prayer meeting, in this prayer meeting, any demonic power, any man, 
any woman that have sold himself to the devil, that have sold himself to the devil, for the devil to use, yeah, against me and my loved ones, by my prayer, I eliminate them, I eliminate them before they eliminate me. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice, I cause fire, I cause fire, I cause thunder, I cause lightning to strike them wherever they are. Anyone that have sold themselves to the devil, Metekataya, for the devil to use against me, I crush them as I pray by fire, by thunder. I crush them in the name of Jesus. Lemedea, Cantoria, 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 Cantoria. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, eliminate them before they eliminate you in this journey, in this journey of 2022. Anyone that have sold himself or herself to the devil, for the devil to use Makaturia against you and against what you stand for and against your loved one. May the lightning of God strike them. May the tender of God strike them as I pray in the name of Jesus. Whoever has allowed himself and allow herself for the devil to use against you and against your loved ones, Makaturia, Makate, 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 Makate. May the fire of God, may the fire of God consume them. May the fire of God consume them. In the name of Jesus, Lebataya, Cantoria, Cantoria, Lebataya, Cantoria, Cantelebe. Come on, come on, keep praying. Keep praying, keep praying, Makataya. I see God working. I see the power of God working in the name of Jesus. Yeah, the angels of God are working on our behalf. The angels of God, they are striking them. The angels of God are giving us victory in the name of Jesus. Anyone, anyone that have sold themselves, that have sold themselves, for the enemy to flow, for the enemy to flow, Karabosa. Karabosa, 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 Karabo, in Jesus' name. Now, for those of you who don't understand this, because Ahab sold himself to the devil, huh, for the devil to use, he killed an innocent, uh, so many innocent people. Among them was Nebat. Nebat owns a land, and because Ahab and Jezebel wanted the land, hallelujah, praise God, they have him killed so that they can inherit that property. You are praying. Maybe you have built a house back home, you do here, and somebody wants it, a member of your family, not very far, wants it, envy it, so they want to eliminate you so that they can have it. Did you hear? Hallelujah. So you are praying in the name of Jesus. In this journey of 2022, anyone that has sold himself to the devil, and for that matter, they envy you because you are married. They envy you because you have built a house. They envy you because you have children who are in Europe and they are going to universities. So they want to destroy them and they want to destroy you. You are praying that may God crush them in the name of Jesus so that their evil plans will not come to pass. Say with me, Father God, I pray today in the name of Jesus, in this journey of 2022, anyone that has sold himself or herself to the devil in Jesus' name to cause me to suffer in 2022, wanting me to die prematurely, wanting me to be sick, wanting me to go into pain, wanting me to suffer so that whatever you have blessed me, they can have it, they can destroy it. Father, as I pray 
in the name of Jesus. May you crush them. You are my defender in the name of Jesus. My God, may you fight for me. My battles are your battles in the name of Jesus. Tonight, Lord, the battle is the Lord. The battle is the Lord. So fight for me in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. May the fire of God strike all those who have sold themselves, who envy you, who want you to die prematurely so that they can have your inheritance. Come on, come on, come on. Let me hear you pray. Let me see you releasing fire. In the name of Jesus, whoever they are, Sister Mary, release fire. Sister Haiti, release fire. In the name of Jesus, Nabatoria, Yenteya, Makaturia, Makatutu, Lebedea. Father, I pray in this journey of 2022, in this journey of 2022, in the name of Jesus, anyone that is envy what you have blessed me, anyone who wants me to die prematurely so that they can have what you have blessed me with. in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I release fire against them, I release thunder against them, I release fire against them, may the lightning strike, may they be destroyed in the name of Jesus, Marabosa, Lebadaya, Chantoria, Makaturia, enemies of your soul, may they be crushed, 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 may they be crushed in Jesus' mighty name. Now, when we are talking about people, hallelujah, who will sell you? When you read the Bible, <laughs> we know that Judas, what did Judas do? Judas went and sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. <laughs> Did you hear me? Now, if the son of man himself was sold, huh? if, if, if somebody in the camp of the son of man, although it was written, it's going to happen. Hallelujah. But it's for our example. If somebody within the camp of the son of man went and sold him, for 30 pieces of silver. It can happen to you. It can happen to me. But we are praying in advance that in this journey of 2022, whoever has planned to sell you to your enemy, hallelujah, whoever has planned to sell you to your adversaries, may the lightning of God strike them wherever they are in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me say with me, Father God, as I pray tonight, in the name of Jesus, in this journey of 2022, whoever has planned, whoever has planned to sell me, to sell me to my enemies, as I pray now, in the name of Jesus, may the fire of God, may the fire of God, here yes, strike them, any Judas, any Judas, any Judas, yeah, in my family, who want to sell me? Who want to sell me? In Jesus' name, as I pray right now, I strike them now. I strike them now. In the name of Jesus, let up your God. Any Judas, who want to sell you? Who want to sell you? Lebadaya, Badaya, Antoria, Lekarababa, Antoria, Yentelebe, Makaturia. My God, I pray. My God, I pray. Libadaya, every Judas of my family, every Judas of my family who has planned, who is planning to sell me to my enemies, to sell me to the adversary for 30 pieces of silver. In the name of Jesus, whoever you are, wherever you are, I crush you, I overpower you. In Jesus' name, I overpower you. In the name of Jesus, I crush you by the fire of God. I release the fire of God. I release the fire of God against you. I overpower you. In the name of Jesus. Lebedea, Cantaya, Cantoria, Cantoria, Lentaria. Lift up your voice. 
Let me hear you pray. Let me hear you pray. Let me hear you pray. In the name of Jesus, let me hear you pray. I crush the enemy before the enemy crush me. I overpower them before they overpower me. In the name of Jesus, I destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus, before they destroy me. In Jesus' name, I strike, I strike. Whoever is planning to sell me for 30 pieces of silver, I crush and overpower you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, we don't have much time. Now, you are praying right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As God then blessed Hannah. Hannah was going through difficulties and challenges. As God blessed her, as God answered her, as God provided for her, so must God provide for you in the name of Jesus. You are praying that God will give you double blessing. In fact, when you read 1 Samuel chapter 1, hallelujah, 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse, verse 5, the Bible says that but Hannah was given double. We are in the year 2022, which represents double. So you are praying for double blessing that God will touch your life and God will bless you. In fact, the Bible also says in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 3.10, that say unto the righteous, it shall be well with them. So you are praying, God well says, it shall be well with you. So it should be well with you this year in the name of Jesus. May God release double blessing over you this year in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice, whatever you, you deem as blessing, may God release double unto you in the name of Jesus. Because the scripture says, and God, yes, le badaya badaya, yeah, granted Hannah. Hannah wishes you are praying in the name of Jesus that you will receive double blessing. You will receive double increase in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God in 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 5. May God give you double in Jesus name. May you receive double. May you receive double. May God bless you. May every closed door of 2022 as part of the blessing, may it open. Lift up your voice. Say, Father, I pray every door of blessing that is closed, that is closed. May that door of blessing open unto me in the name of Jesus. And I pray for double blessing. The year 2022, as Hannah received double, I received double in this year in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice, Caraba Santoria. May you claim it. May you claim it in the name of Jesus. Continue to pray. Mataya, the Bible says, the expectation of the righteous will not be cut off in the name of Jesus. May your expectation not be cut off. In the name of Jesus, according to Proverbs 23, verse 18, the expectation of the righteous will not be cut off. Proverbs 23, 18. Therefore, whatever is your expectation, may you receive it now. May you not be cut off. In the name of Jesus, whatever God has spoken concerning you, may it come to pass. Lift up your voice. Claim your blessing. Let me see you praying. Let me hear you praying. La badaya badoya. Karabo santoria. Kanturia makatoya. Lebedeya badaya. Makaturia baba. Lebedeya. Claim your blessing. Claim your blessing. Karabo santoto. Le karababa. May this year 2022, as you have crushed the enemy, may this year be a year of blessing in the name of Jesus. May God grant you double blessing in Jesus' name. May God grant you double blessing in the name of Jesus. Karaba Santaya. Le Karaba Santoto. Le Karaba. Yan Terebos. Yan Taraba. Yan Terebe. Yan Terebe. Makaturia. Yan Terebe. Shantoria. Yilebele. Lebedebede. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, the Bible says in the book of James, James chapter 1, verse number 16 and 17. James 1, 16 and 17. The Bible says that, Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Hallelujah. And it comes down from the Father. Hallelujah. Every good gift and every perfect thing come from God. So you are praying that this year, 2022, may it be your year. May it be a year whereby God will release upon you, hallelujah, the desires of your heart, whereby God will release upon you whatever you have hoped for. Hannah, you know, all along was looking for a child because the rabbi was mocking her. But when God intervened, the answer came. So you are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. If every good gift and every perfect thing come from above, may that good thing and may that perfect thing come unto you. Lift up your voice. In the name of Jesus, Ah, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I know, I know from your word that every good thing, that every perfect thing is from above. In the name of Jesus, as I lift up my voice, Lord, touch my life. In Jesus' name, let every good thing, let every perfect thing come from above. In the name of Jesus, Koraba Santoria. Mete Kataya, Makatoria, Shantoria Baba, lift up your voice, Karabo Santoria, Ikete Kataya, Shantoria, may every good thing, may every perfect thing come from above. May God touch you, may God bless you, may God increase you in the name of Jesus, because every good thing and every perfect thing, Karabo Santoria, Likarababa, Shantoria, Likarababa, Santoto Kataya, Lebataya Batai, Likataya Bakato, Likarababaza, Lebedea, Shantoria, Likarababa, Shantoria, Yenterebedes, Santoria, Carabo Santoria, Carabo Santaya. May God touch your life. May God bless you because every good thing. And every perfect thing is from my bed in the name of Jesus. May God grant you the desire of your health in Jesus' name. If you are praying for a wife, a husband, may you receive that in the name of Jesus. If you are praying for healing, may you receive that in the name of Jesus. If you are praying for expansion in business, in ministry, may you receive that in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are praying for, whatever be the desire of your heart, may you have that. May you receive it in the name of Jesus. Karabo Santaya, Li Karaba, Shantoria, Lebedea, Makato, in Jesus' name. And this is our last prayer. When, as you read the story of Hannah, which we use today, there is a due season for everyone on the planet Earth. Sometimes when your season, hallelujah, has not materialized, you will be complaining. Hallelujah. But when your season comes, definitely what God has said is yours. So you pray that 2022 will be your season. It will be your season for growth, your season for blessing, your season for breakthrough. Your season to receive what you have in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in a book of Ecclesiastes 3 1, to everything there is a season. So there is a season for you in the name of Jesus. Every delay must be off in the name of Jesus. There was delay in Hannah's life, but when her season came, God answered her. So you are praying that 2022. God should remove every hindrances, 
every delay answers and cause 2022 to be your season, your season to receive, your season to manifest his glory, your seasons to marry. I prophesy about for somebody that this will be your season to marry in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever you are hoping for, if you are not married, let this be your season to marry in Jesus' name. If you are not enjoying your marriage, let this year be a season to enjoy your marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this be a season of joy and happiness in Jesus' name. Now lift up your voice and begin to pray. The Bible says to everything there is a season. If there is a season for everything, then this year must be your season. Your season to receive in the name of Jesus. Your season of joy. Your season to manifest God's glory. Your season to shine. Let it be this year in the name of Jesus. When, when Hannah has waited, her season came. And I pray that this will be your season. I pray that this will be your season. 2022, yeah, declare it. Say, Father, in Jesus' name, I declare 2022 as my season, my season to receive, my season of breakthrough, my seasons of joy in the name of Jesus, my season to manifest what you have spoken concerning me in the name of Jesus. To everything there is a season, my season to be healed, my season to be healed, my season to be healed, my season to manifest the glory of God, my season for financial breakthrough, my season to establish, yeah, what has been a vision of my heart. Yeah, let this be your season, your season, your season, your season. In the name of Jesus, I declare it over your life. I declare it over your life. In Jesus' name, Lebadaya, Makaturia. If you tap, I receive it, it will be yours. May this be your season, your season to manifest the glory of God. Tap, I receive it. May your season to marry if you are not married. Your season to enjoy your marriage in the name of Jesus. Tap, I receive it. Your season to be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tap, I receive it right now. Tap, I receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Your season, Stephen Foucault, receive it now. In Jesus' name. It is your season, yeah, to marry. It is your season to break through. It is your season, yeah, to receive the desire of your heart. It is your season. I prophesy over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, as it came to Hannah's season, and Hannah received, may it be your season. Sister Micah James, may it be your season. Sister Hetty, may it be your season. In the name of Jesus, your season to manifest. Bernard, your season, let it be your season to receive now. Sister Priscilla, I prophesy over your life. Let it be your season, your season to find your ideal partner in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, let it be your season. Sister Princess, let it be your season, your season to break through in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Sister Kate, let it be your season now. I prophesy your season of upliftment. Let it be now in the name of Jesus. Sister Jenner, let it be your season in Jesus' name. Sister Leticia, let it be your season. Your season to break through. Your season to receive from God. Your season to manifest God's glory. Sister Victoria, let it be your season. Your season right now to receive from God. I prophesy, Sister Mavis, let it be your season to experience God's glory, to manifest the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus. Brother Bernard, your season to receive from God. Sister Deborah, your season. Sister Mary, your season to receive in the name of Jesus. Sister Deborah, Nate, your season to manifest Makataya, what God has said in the name of Jesus. Father, I prophesy 
to everyone on the platform. Everyone that will watch this video later, that let it be their season to manifest your glory. Their season in the name of Jesus, that whatever you have spoken concerning them, let it come to pass. Yea, in the name of Jesus, let 2022 be our season. Our season to receive joy, our season to manifest growth, our season of multiplication, our season to marry, our season to be healed in the name of Jesus. For your word said, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sow, he will receive. My God, let your children receive your goodness. What you have spoken, let it come to pass. Sister Regina, let it be your season now in the name of Jesus to receive from God in Jesus' name. Wherever you are, receive right now as I prophesy over your life. May the enemy vanquish. May the enemy be vanquished. May the enemy be vanquished in the name of Jesus. And may the power of God be so mighty over your life. May you prosper this year. May everything that you touch prosper in the name of Jesus. May God shine his face yeah, upon your life in the name of Jesus. May the glory of God be seen all over you in Jesus' mighty name. And may the goodness of God be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. God bless you. I love you. May you be blessed in Jesus' name. Tomorrow I meet you in church. And those who are not part of Christian Hope, you can also watch us online on the same channel tomorrow in our church services. God bless you. God bless you. May everything that God has spoken concerning you come to pass in the name of Jesus. May 2022, God give you safe passage, you and your family. May the joy of the Lord be your strength this year. May God carry you on an eagle's wing in Jesus mighty name. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. God bless you. Please, if you haven't shared, share the video. I just want you to know I love you. Jesus is Lord. God bless you. Bye. In the name of Jesus. May you be blessed. May you be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. May God be mighty over your life. In Jesus' name. God is a good God. Le karaba baba. Le broskitaya baba. Le broskaya. God is a great God. In Jesus' name. May you be blessed. May everything that God has spoken come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Just want you to know I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. In Jesus' name is Lord. Hallelujah. He's Lord over everything. And that is why you should not be afraid. As long as Jesus is on the throne, all is well. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid of anything in Jesus' name. Thank you, every one of you. You are blessed. And you are favored by God. Amen.